Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is D4 round hand code forces round 871 and this is the fifth problem, the legs. So let's see what the problem states. The problem states that uh, you are given an n by m grid of non-negative integers that is just a matrix and each of the cell will contain a uh, integer value. It can be zero or a positive number. And they are telling that a lake is a set of cells such that each cell in the set has a i j greater than zero and there exists a path between any pair of cells in the lake by going up, down, left or right or any number of times without stepping on a cell with a i j equal to zero. The volume of a lake is the sum of depths of all the cells in the lake. Find the largest volume of lake in the grid. What does it mean? You have a matrix. In coding terms, you have a matrix. You have a lot of numbers okay and also zeros are also there they are telling that uh, if a number is there you can move from one number to other number only if both are natural numbers zero should not be there and the position is you can't move diagonally you can only move left right up or down so that's all so let's quickly see this with the help of an example they want to know that uh, what is the largest volume you get largest volume means uh, the sum of all the connected uh, numbers on a particular group so okay let's say for example it is this is the value okay 1 2 3 4 and 5 if you see 1 2 3 4 are together from 1 you can move to 2 from 2 you can move to 4 4 you can move to 3 right so the volume of this grid is 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 but 5 you can't go because it is diagonal they specifically told that it can be either left right or down or up now, if you go to 5, 5 is a separate guy. So, 5's volume is 5. Now, either 5 is bigger or 10 is bigger. Which is bigger? Only 10, right? So, that's how you write. And for the second one, here it is already 0. Answer is 0. Now, this one. From this one, you can go through all the ones, right? So, you simply fill the sum. From this also, uh, this one, all these ones are connected. From 1, 1, you can go to any other. So you take the sum that is one volume and this phi is another volume because you can't reach from one to five. So that is a separate which is the maximum out of it that one. Now similarly for this also but here you can there is only one possible path that is one one four here and one from up down right left you can I go through any place. So that is also valid. So the value you got is 21. But now uh, if you see this problem right if you are preparing for uh, sd interviews uh, this is one of the most famous problem if you are learning dfs or if you are learning graph especially because the problem that is prevalent in lead code or geeks for geeks it is called as count the distinct number of islands so that problem states that in this how many islands are there so if only this constraint is there there are two islands these are all interconnected right so let's assume that zeros are water and one natural numbers are land it will be one 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 it won't be like natural numbers so uh, in that problem it's like you have to count the grouped ones together so here it's a bit modified version here natural numbers are there you need to find the sum of all the grouped numbers and find the largest value out of it okay now uh, how are we going to do this i expect that uh, you know a little bit of uh, graph uh, here so even though if you don't know no problem i'll try my best to explain it so if you are something somewhere new to using vectors or something this is how you create a matrix so this is uh, i'm creating a two-dimensional matrix and i need a visited array here why do we need visited i'll tell you so uh, i created n rows and m columns everything is initialized to zero that means no uh, element is visited now then this is how you populate the 2d matrix that is i create a row i fill it with one two zero the first row and push it to matrix the master one one two zero i push it three four zero i populate it and push that one d array zero zero five that one d array again i'm pushing it so this matrix is developed input we got it now oh, okay i hope this is clear till now and uh, when coming from the first number if i tell what is the what did i write if matrix of ij not equal to zero and not visited of ij 
they told that if it is zero don't consider it if it is not zero you have to consider it so the first number it is not zero i am considering it and since i am doing for the first time i am not visited right i did not visit it why do we need visited because when you take one right if you go right two comes if you go down four comes if you go left three comes then again if you go up one comes again i don't want to process it because one is already processed if you go one step to right two but if you go one step from two one is also a valid move from two you can go left also but you should not take it because one is already visited and processed you should not do it so that's why we have this visited matrix so i hope that is clear matrix of ij not equal to 0 yes one is not equal to 0 and it is not visited so what i'll do i'll mark this as visited i'm not going to process it again then what does this function do traverse of this plus matrix of ij matrix of ij is the value that is this one okay plus whatever be the ones neighbors whoever be the participants who are connected to one i'll just get the sum of those numbers here sum plus this number next time when i am iterating to i should not tell that is not done whatever be the connected value with one whoever i can traverse everyone i will get this traverse now what why did i keep the maximum value this is one group value okay as i told phi can be one group there can be some other group in the number so if there are some other group that volume also we have to take there can be one volume there can be many islands present so what is the maximum value preserved that is the maximum here now let's see how did we iterate it how did we get to the point where we are uh, getting the sum of the path of one if we start from one what are all the possible combinations we can go either up either left either right or either down right so uh, how do you programmatically do it that's why i created a static here static means only one time it will be initialized so it doesn't make sense right minus 1 1 0 what is that i'll show you so if you have a number that is r and c if i want to go one step up what should i do with the row i should do row can be uh, it is a uh, i just need to decrement the row and column is same right if i want to go up if i want to go right row is same row but column is what it is next column that is plus 1 okay so and if i want to go left the row value will be the same but column value decrements if i want to go down the row value increments and the column value is zero so that's what this mapping input what does uh, so whenever i am writing right so i will be taking all the four combinations for a particular cell i take k equal to 0 k less than 4 k plus plus if you notice correctly i'll tell what the function is r plus r o of k c plus u of k that is first one r plus minus 1 0 minus 1 0 means i am going to this cell 1 0 means i am going to this cell then r plus r of k means when k is 3 it will go to the third index 0 minus 1 i'll go to this cell and lastly 0 1 i'll go to this cell so in order to try all the possible combinations i am not writing four functions here what it is in a single for loop when k equal to 0 k less than 4 k plus plus i just uh, mapped those indices and directly checked okay so how are we moving the cursor that is clear i hope now let's assume a situation where you are uh, having a matrix like this and you are here you can't move here right you need to check for a condition here this is one you can't move for outside the matrix one more thing is if one is already visited as i told you earlier if i am at two i should not go back to one okay because it will be infinitely it will be keep flapping from one you go to two two you go to one both are all valid moves so i should check the number is not visited that is one more and one more thing is it should not be zero zero is a water you should not go there okay zero is invalid move so that's what this is say function all about what i'm testing is this new index i found out right if i go here if the number if the row number is greater than or equal to zero row number is less than the limit if row number is less than n okay this is n minus 1 only till allowed column number is greater than or equal to zero and column number is less than m 
boundaries i'm checking after boundaries i'm checking i'm checking whether the matrix of rc is positive or not if it is zero return zero is return false right it goes uh, it it is a false value i'm not taking it so if it is a normal value and it is not visited i will go back to the if condition if condition states that okay if everything is a valid move i mark it as true and go down and say that okay that is this uh, side is valid in this case 2 is valid here it is not visited it is non zero everything i mark this as also visited this is already visited this is also visited now now what does this do sum plus equal to matrix of ij plus traverse do you remember in the main function we did right this number plus whoever be the neighbors i am getting that sum i'll get through traverse similarly 2 i already have the current value plus who are all the two neighbors two neighbors are 1 3 4 1 we are not going to cover we will already have the base condition we'll take 3 and 4 sum so that comes from this traverse function what is this traverse function in this traverse function i am sending this two value this two what is the row value of this this row value this is i and let's suppose this is j this goes again here okay so let's suppose 3 plus 4 is 7 right this guy this traverse guy gives 7 by keep on iterating it is a what it is a loop right it keeps on iterating then this sum gets added 9 sum plus equal 9 sum goes to 9 here the 9 plus 1 is 10 and that's how you get 10 as the value here but you may ask what if for all the conditions what are base conditions are not there base conditions are not here but base conditions are here r equal to 0 i'm checking whether it is a safe move or not it is 0 or not it is visited or not and it is a natural number or not so this is uh, the standard template that i use for solving any of the D, uh, dfs kind of problems and uh, these graph kind of problems and all uh, this is more like a breadth first search right you are going to breadth wise you are just trying to search it so that's all about this code and uh, it might not be intuitive at the first but only thing i strongly recommend is take a pen and paper and try to solve it if you're not able to solve it go to lead code or geeks for geeks and try to solve the uh, distinct number of islands there is a, some problem with graphs that are there you try to solve that also and i hope that will be working for you and this is also accepted i'll link the solution in description thank you guys thanks